Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beverly and I do things planner related. Welcome, glad to have you. And today we're doing a plan with me for January 9th through the 15th, I think, uh, 2023. We'll get into it in a minute. But um, uh, so you may be asking yourself, Beverly, you're in a Hobonichi. Why, why do you have a B6 in front of you? Because I played myself, people. I set up a Hobonichi for 2023. I had it sectioned off. It was pretty. And <clears throat> my brain just said, nope. Not going to happen. I don't know. It just, it felt cluttered. I felt like I didn't want to get in it because it was too much. It was too structured. I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it turned out. And believe me, it's a beautiful planner that has nothing to do with it. <clears throat> My brain just rejected it and it needed space and I needed white space. My brain appreciates white space. I, I know this about myself and what I did was I tried to make it too pretty with too many stickers or I made it too busy or I made it too structured or I made it this section is for this and this section is for that and I prefer to grow my planner organically and that's what happened and I said to myself Beverly this is how you planned all last year it'll be great it'll be set up you won't have to do anything and the deep parts of my brain said you're doing too much and I ignored them and so that's why we're here. <laughs> so now you know a little too much about me and how my brain works and I apologize for that but um, that's why we're here. That's why we're in this. So let me show you what I have. First I'm going to get some water. Sorry. <clears throat> I have some sinuses going on. And I'm actually filming this the same day I did my flip through because I'm so busy this week. I either get it done or I don't do it at all. And I wanted to have get back on a regular schedule. And that's been my problem. That's why I hadn't posted as many videos through Christmas and New Year's is because I've just been busy. And um, so... I'm trying to get some things done. So you're going to have to excuse the shadows because <clears throat> the South is getting tormented by a severe weather storm. We've had tornado warnings all day and it's just shadowy and it comes and goes. And if you hear my dog whimpering or panting, it's because she's huddled underneath my desk. I said to my husband, I want a dog. I want, a, I want another dog. We'd already had our little dog for quite some time. It's like that having that first child that gives you confidence to have a second child. And then the second child teaches you a lesson. Yeah, it's that. Because I said, I'm going to rescue a shelter dog. They're sturdy dogs. They're, you know, they're, they're hardy. They live through anything. And I, on top of that, I rescued a bulldog. They're hardy. They're great dogs. This dog lived on the streets, was abandoned. And now I have to medicate her every time it rains. <laughs> and I'm not making fun of her trauma, but dang it. <laughs> like it's, oh, anyways, anybody else got a dog like that? I, anyway, um, so let's get into it. I'll show you what I have set up. So this is the same B6 that I set up <clears throat> back in August that um, I never used. And I... Um, August, September, I set it up October, November, November, December, and I showed this in my planner graveyard, and that is where this came from, and I didn't want to waste another planner, so um, I got in it starting in January. Um, I think I'm going to come back and decorate this to show that it's 2023. I just haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, so this is my November. I, I haven't even set a, you know what? Let me get a sticker. Hold on just a second. I 
I haven't even put a monthly sticker on this yet. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is my um, Sterling Ink sticker book. Let's see. I'm going to have stuff back for years in this thing that I never used. And I know I have some big monthly stickers. Haha, -ha, here they are. I knew they were in here somewhere. So let's put. Oh, where's my January? I don't have a January one. Did I already use it in something? Okay. I used it in something. So we're going to put a more. I think I, I think I used it in my um, Hobonichi weeks. But fear not. I have some more, but they're just more moderately sized. So we're going to stick this up here so we know that's January. Um, so I did it in gray mild liner, um, but so it's not, it's more neutral. And um, I did January, February, and March. <clears throat> and after I decorate them, I'll put um, the monthlies on them. I mean, I know what month it is. I don't, I don't need anybody else to come behind me and say, I don't know what month this is. It's, it's because you have no business in here. I mean, except y'all, you know, I share it with y'all, but um, looking at it every day. <laughs> Sorry, my dogs are barking. Hold on just one second. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> my husband came home and I had to pass my shivering dog on to um, him. And I'm trying to make this where it's less shadowy. Okay, don't know that's going to happen, but it's whatever. Okay, so like I said, I know what it is, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Um, I am doing some tracking. I put a tracker over here on the side. Um, days I go to the gym, meal plan, my gratitude and tarot a day, um, my no spend, days I don't spend anything, and then some things I'm keeping track of for my physician. Um, I wrote in some birthdays and some holidays, and it's all in gray mild liner, and I don't know if you can see it. Um, I'm hoping it's coming off, but, um, and then I have my zones for the, um, for the fly Le method lady, um, uh, fly lady method version that I do. I do, um, zones per month, like one zone a month. And, um, my entire house is broke up into three different zones or the different rooms are broke up into three different zones of different areas. And then I, so I go through each zone per quarter. And, um, because my ha my house isn't, I don't have littles, I have adults that live here, so our house stays pretty neat. They can pick up after themselves. Um, this is just so I hit the big things, um, quarterly at least. So, anyway, for January, I'm hitting my garage, my front porch, my entrance, and my outside. So, that's what I'm working on this month. I did, uh, this is Lauren Phelps Designs Washi, and then I'm using the Sterling Ink Kit from January in here. That's the same I was using in my Hobonichi Weeks Mega. And then this is February and March, and that's all I did because that's all I'm going to fit in this, this book. That's all that's going to fit in here. Um, I did do a future planning um, April through De uh, December and then 2024, and then I can write events if I know them to future plan later. I have my projects and stuff, my goals that I had in my Hobonichi Week setup, I transferred into here. And that's my January one. I save space for my February and my March. And then I miscounted and I, I think two pages were stuck together so I ended up with an extra one and I'll figure something else to do with that. And then I start my January. These are my projects for January as part of my goals. Um, so I'll be working on those and I've already got some marked off. This is a January brain dump and I put this in here and I said, oh, I'll use it. And I don't think that I will. I'll end up probably covering these Januaries with some washi tape 
and using it for something else like lists or something in the future like so I don't waste pages if I need the pages I can come back and use these it's fine um, again I don't remember what happened here I think they were stuck together but this is a page I messed up so um, I miscounted and it ended up being like way off um, so I just stuck them together again I'll go back and use that as some I'm I, I'm going out of town this weekend. I'll, I'll go ahead and use this as a packing list or whatever. It's not that big a deal for me. And then, so for this week, this is what it looks like. Like I said, I've been busy this week um, between work. I have two birthdays this week. We had um, our holiday was Monday for New Year's Day. And um, like I've just been, I've been super busy. And um We've had events in our family and things, and it's just, it's been crazy. So, I have not been that busy on paper. I've been doing things in person, and I know what it needs to get done, but I just, I have not had time to really write it down, and that's fine. Um, I am really enjoying the space, the, the white space here. I know people are like, you don't need that much room. I don't care. It's my planner. I get to do what I want. Just like you get to do what you want. If I want to waste the white space, that's me. But for me, it's calming to my brain. Like, it doesn't feel overwhelming. I don't feel as busy. I don't feel like, I feel like there's room to breathe here. And for now, until my brain stops the overwhelm and I'm, I'm high anxiety right now, um, this is just where we're going to be. So it's, it is what it is. Okay. So, um, I've been putting appointments or events. Like I said, I have some birthdays, my day off. Um, I put the, the, the weather. I even drew some, um, some little, little things. I did a little corner sun there. If you were ever in the elementary school, that's how everybody drew a sun in the corner of the page, a little sun. I'm, I'm not a doodler people. I'm not. So I made a little <clears throat> cloud here and put some raindrops. This one is the thunder and lightning drop. And that's what we are today. I had some severe storms. Yesterday was partly cloudy. That's, I, I know you can't tell what it is because it's horrific. Like a two-year-old made it, but it's a cloud with the sun attached to it because it was partly sunny. I'm also shoving in this little area. I shoved in my food because I, like I said, we're really busy. We're going out to eat. We're out of town. I had leftovers one night. We were so busy. I only meal plan two meals. That's fine. That's just, that's just my life right now. And I also shoved in here my gym, my gym routine. I did legs yesterday. Today, all I had the energy for was cardio. That's all I had in me. And tomorrow, I have legs written here, but I think it's going to be an arms day. I was supposed to do arms today, but I just, I didn't, I, I didn't have the bandwidth to do it. And um, so I was like, if all I can do is walk on this treadmill for 30 minutes at the gym, that's, that's what I'm going to do. If that's all I got in me. And that's, that was it. That's what I had today. So um, that's what I did. And um and then I'm going out of town these days. Uh, so these arm day and leg day may get reversed. So, and I'll be gone for the weekend. So anyway, as I'm building new habits, <clears throat> and I think I said this in my Hobonichi weeks, I have to have it at the bottom of my weekly to-do list because I need to be seeing it every day. Um, I look at this every day and I need to see these habits every day. Um, so that it's in the forefront of my mind that this is what I'm trying to build. So that's why they're there and on the monthly, but I have to have them in both because for me, out of sight is out of mind and I have to have it. So anyway, um, some more Lauren Phelps washi, a little um, sterling ink and a little to do there. I didn't even put weekly and daily on my tabs. I know which ones they are. And honestly, it's minimal for me. So I, like I said, the, the calmer that it can be, the better. And I'm good with it. It's fine. It's fine for me. This was a day. This was a day. 
I'm doing journaling on the day, my tarot um, pull a day and a little journaling on each page. So it does help fill up my two page spread, which is what I'm doing, timed with the two page spread. And um, so this is today, this is what I had to get done today. And this is tomorrow. Again, it has the little Florin Phelps Designs washi on it. And I'm gonna, um, I'll put some sterling ink uh, kit on it. Maybe I'll do that in front of the TV this afternoon to relax. Um, but then, um, then, and I put Saturday here, I put Saturday, Sunday on a two day spread. And I'm not gonna need that much room. So next week you'll see that I have Saturday and Sunday on each a day, because I am i don't need two days for the weekend. I just don't. Um, this is where I have my bills. Um, so um, my check registry for the, the week. So what I do, and this will show you kind of what I do. Um, so it's numbered or it's dated just like my weekly and here's where I put my bills <clears throat> sorry this is where I put my bills that are due this is the date uh amount and like a note of what it was like if it was from Amazon or whatever and then I put Amazon and then dash and then like dish detergent or laundry detergent or I went to Walmart and I spent $120 in household stuff and $50 in groceries, or usually it's the opposite. <laughs> I said that wrong, but you know what I mean. Um, so this allows me to make notes of my expenditures and I can go into my digital budget and split those purchases among different categories so that I know exactly where my money is going. And I'm trying to be more detailed about this and this is going to let me do that. It also gives me a, an extra page over here I gave myself two page spread because I need to make some notes over here, kind of like what my weekly budget is, how much, you know, of that I are overspent or whatever. I can look on that digitally, but I like to kind of keep it here too so I can see it so that my brain connects. Hey, stop spending. And then, so this is the week that we're going to be planning for. And literally, that's all that's set up in here. Um, I had some financial budget. I was doing my overall budget on um, paper, and I switched to digital because it's easier for me. Um, so these are just clipped together in the back because I'm no longer using those. And those were from last year, so I, I didn't even use it. Um, <clears throat> so this is this week. Um, I did some dashes. I did my weekly setup like I always do. Let me get rid of this paper clip. So this is this week's setup. I'm gonna try something this week and see if it works. Um, this is gonna be my routine. So my weekly routine, my t routine that I put in every week like I always do, which is this stuff here. I'm gonna put it here. What I did at the gym is gonna go here so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, my weather and meal are, it's my dinner is what I track. I tend to myself, I don't keep track of everybody else's breakfast and lunch, but for myself, I tend to eat the same thing over and over again. I'm, I'm just because it's easy and I don't have to think about it. So all I, I was going to do an extensive meal plan in my other one. And I realized real quick, that's not going to work for me. So um, my dinner is just going to go here. That's all I keep track of is what we're having for dinner. And then any appointments and holidays will go here. And that's mainly because I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot of that. Um, if it's a holiday, it's a holiday, but I don't have a lot of appointments um, outside the house. I just, <clears throat> those are few and far between. So I do have two birthdays this week. And then um, we have an event on Saturday. Um, that I'm going to try to take my grandkids to. I really want to go. <clears throat> so I'm hoping we have the time and the weather is nice. Sorry, I'm going to get some water. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> <coughs> I think it's just the sinuses is finally catching up for me. And then, so I did my Alistair method over here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like I always do. And that's it. 
and then they're going to be followed by my two page spread dailies. <clears throat> I went ahead and put the day of the week and the date on them, <clears throat> and I went ahead and timed my dailies because, again, I'm not going to be here this weekend. I'm not going to have time to set this up, so I went ahead and did that off camera, um, but you'll see me plan, so... Uh, for the week. And then, like I said, I put Saturday and Sunday on a day apiece. Helps save some paper in here, and honestly, I don't need that much. <clears throat> if it looks like I'm not using the two-day spread, and I'm okay with going to one day, but honestly, I'm loving that I have the space, and I feel like I can stretch out. It's like being cramped in a little space for a little while and finally being able to put your legs out in front of you. It's like your blood can flow again. It feels like my brain can flow again. Um, and there's nothing structured in here. There's nothing pressured in here. I don't have to use it a certain way. I can change up exactly what I want. And I need that for a minute. And I know in the past I've struggled with, well, it's too much. I can't keep up with it. But... If I can keep it simple, like I already have three months worth of calendars already done, and I only set up what I need, I'm, I, I'm hoping it works out for a little while. I just, I need to stretch my legs, and um, we're going to see how it goes. And I make no promises. I've told y'all before, I told you when I set up the Hobonichi Weeks Mega, I make no promises. Th this may all change, but for now... This is what I need, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, so this is the week of the 9th through the 15th. I already wrote the birthdays in there. I don't have any appointments that I know of. Um, my weather I'll have to put in because I record on my phone, and it's on my phone. And I don't like to put it in until Sunday or Monday because we're Florida. Things change. The gym, um, because I messed this part up over here, I think this is going to be a record of what I did instead of a plan for what I'm going to do um, because things change. So I'm going to, this will allow me to track <clears throat> kind of what, what I did this week and let me see it. So we're going to put in my routine and this is going to be, it's like every week. I'm really focusing on routines this year and habits, and I'm hoping that will help. And I can tell you, um, you know what else is great about Stology, uh, Stology paper? <laughs> it takes my ink pen. Uh, Energel ink pens are my favorite. This is a tool, um, but the Energel refills fit in here. And that's what's in here is an inner gel ink pen refill 1.0. Uh, um, and I love it. I love how dark and thick it is. I love that I can see it. I, I'm enjoying the white paper for a minute. And like I said, it could all change. But um, for now, it's I'm enjoying it and that's what it's all about because when you have to be precious with your planner it just it it's not fun anymore and once my um it's like once my brain decides nope and once my brain says no the rest of me just I can't I can't talk it out of it it's pretty stubborn um, anybody else completely changed their plans for 2023? <laughs> am I all alone? I mean, it's okay if I am. I'm okay with it. I am. Um, I'm okay with being alone and making my own choices. <laughs> it's all right. If I'm by myself in my corner. <laughs> I'm used to it. 
but um I hope you know it, it's okay if you decide to change your whole routine if you get into it and you're like no not today <laughs> um because that's what happened to me and you know it is what it is so I'm gonna put some washi down and I know this is Lauren Phelps designs and I want to say it was part of her advent calendar last year I'm not sure I can't remember um, but it goes well with this kit from Sterling Ink that I've used for January. It's very pretty with it because it's a, a neutral <clears throat> color. And it matches it well. Oops, that's upside down. Um, goes well with it. And I just mix and match whatever I have. Put some of this on it. Nope, these are too big. I'll put some of these on it. <clears throat> these are a little smaller. Oops. It's a little too big. Or maybe I just put too much washi. I liked the rip look, but I couldn't see my sticker over the, the washi tape. It's pretty. Let's see what else can I put on there. I like these kids. Um, Sterling Ink, she does a great job. <clears throat> They're always very pretty. I'm just, let's see. I just never know what to do because I'm, I'm not the, listen, if you're looking for an aesthetic planner, I'm not the planner you're looking for at all. Um, and if you get that reference, you I mean, you found your people. I'm here. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna put a second one of these on here so it kind of looks a little washi tapey. Honest, I try to make it look pretty, I do. But it doesn't always work out. And like I said in the last one, I did too much. I did way too much. And I'm oh, sorry, I was looking for my scissors. Um, if you saw the rest of my desk right now, it's a hot freaking mess. I've been busy at work and I've not had a time to clean it. And that's all that's going to go on there. Um, so, stuff to do is going to be... I have these stickers from um, Mandy Lynn Plans. They're her weekly stickers. I'm just going to put a this week sticker up here at the top. Um, I'm going to use some of these during the week. All right. I know I'm going to need to make some YouTube videos, so definitely do another plan with me next week. And then I need to come up with a second video idea. Um, sorry, I broke a nail. 
no, it was a piece of washi stuck to me. Okay. Um, I thought I broke a little piece of nail, but it wasn't. Um, I don't. So if there's something you want to see, put it down below. Give me some ideas. Help me. Help me help you. Help me. Um, I, <laughs> I have no idea what to do. Um, but it, maybe it'll come to me, I guess. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Um, what else do I need to do? I need to put my, um, daily stuff at the bottom. I know that. Um, Meal track is what I do daily. Um, I have here meal prep and plan. I already do that. I don't. I don't need to track it. It's fine. I just need to learn to track my food. That's what. That's what I really need to get done. Um. So put that in there. That's my pill that I gotta take. <clears throat> okay. Is there anything else that I'm missing? No, I don't think so. Is there any projects I want to work on this week? Let's flip back here. So I need to um, get with my daughter and see if we can go to the festival. I need to get with... Ooh, I completely messed that up um get with my family and see when they want to have the quarterly event that we're going to have and where we're going to do it and I'm trying to come up with an, a maintenance routine for the house I mean, I know the things that I need to do, but I know there's probably adultish things that I don't know that it's adultish things to do for your house on a regular basis. I mean, I do things like change the air filter and, you know, all that. I, I do that. But, um, and I get our HVAC serviced, blah, 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 blah. But I'm sure there's other things. And I've been looking into that to try to come up with a actual routine or a list or maintenance routine for the year as seasons change and stuff so I'm going to look into that this week and that's one of my goals for this month um I know I need to do that my weekly my daily routines are on here so I don't need to put those here they're becoming pretty routine now don't have any appointments. I know, oh, I've got to get um, birthday cards. And I think that's it. I'm gonna have I have no appointments, but I'm still super busy. I don't know how I do that, but I do. I know there's stuff that I must not be writing down, but I'll, it'll take me sitting down and thinking about thinking about it of why I'm so busy. I don't know. Okay, so, um, and then I'll come in. You know, like I always do Sunday night, I'll come in and fill in Monday, um, Tuesday, Monday night, I'll come in and fill in Tuesday, Wednesday. Like I said, I already, like, this is, I already know this is a birthday. So I'll have to figure out where they want to go for their birthday meal. 
this birthday. I'll have to figure out if they're even going to be here for the birthday and where they want to go for their meal. Um, I know this is, but I don't know if we're going to do that or not. I don't know if we're going to go to that festival, so I'm not going to write it down yet. Okay. So I think that's it. Um, so there you go. I did have, I will show these. These are my, it's January, February, March. They're the tiny little tabs. And I ordered them from Planner Monkey Co. And they're super cute. They're upside down because I think they're meant to go sideways on a Hobonichi. Um, but mine wasn't put on like that. So I had to. I had to improvise and so they're upside down, but that's okay. It'll be fine. And I think that's it. Oh, I also got these. These are so cute. They're little um, coffee rings. They're the mini coffee rings. This was the freebie she sent with my order. Then I got these little transparent mini tabs. Um, Category things like habits, family, personal plans. They go on the her mini tabs, which are here. And I plan to use these in my Hobonichi. They're even purple, like the purple Hobonichi I had. But um, I don't know. If I hop back in it, I'll use them. I got some more rings. And then um, these pay bills ones and some little YouTube trackers. I'm not, I probably will still use these. Um, and these bill ones I can use in my B6 too. Um, but they're cute. Very good. Good quality. I like them. Um, these tabs seem pretty sturdy. They're like a plastic feel. And, um, they stick on really well. They don't feel like they're going to come off. And, um, so that's great. And they're non-intrusive. They're transparent. And for me, they're very minimal. So I don't feel like... <clears throat> they're in my face at all and I'm not a tab all the tabs person so that really helps so all right so that was it that was my week my dailies <clears throat> my month in my b6 and we'll see how it goes so if you have any questions put them down below if you have any comments, you can put those down below too. Remember, be nice. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for today, y'all. Thank you. And next time, see y'all later. Bye.